Hi guys, this is the tour of my investment property. Let's go, come in. Before I take you inside what the property looks like right now, I think it's important for you to actually see what the property used to look like. So I've just shown you the outside with the front and the back. And this was what the kitchen was like when I bought the property. It was incomplete, it was gray, it was dark. And yes, that was what it was looking like. <laughs> and then there was this space underneath the stairs um, for like storage and it was scary. Just, just, just look at that. It had this dead wallpaper. It, it was just not looking great. Uh, the dining area and the living room area looked nice, um, at least on the surface of it. Uh, a few things were noticed after I bought the property, but yeah, it had big bay windows. It's got a fireplace, quite ugly fireplace. Uh, but yeah, uh, so upstairs now, uh, you know, the hallway that's what it looks like uh and then there was the smallest bedroom just to the front it had a boiler in the room uh as you can see the inside of the boiler cupboard was just dead <laughs> so uh but yeah it's got like really big windows um as well so a lot of good lighting like it's coming into the property uh the bathroom uh, had no toilet seats. Uh, the floor was actually white and blue tiles, but it was quite dirty. The shower uh, switch was just not working. In fact, it was open. Uh, there was like pipe on the floor of the bathroom behind the toilet and the sink. This is another bedroom. It had this wardrobe um, as well that the inside was dead. In my last episode, you must have seen me taking down this uh, wardrobe-looking thing that I just didn't understand what it was doing there. Anyways, um, but uh, the second bedroom looks like it didn't have a lot of work apart from maybe the wardrobe side. But if you've seen the last episode as well, you would know that there was a lot of work that had to go into the wall behind that wardrobe after it came off now let's go to the biggest uh bedroom uh so the master bedroom and yeah you know it was looking quite all right on the surface as well uh but i also noticed when i moved close to um the wall that you know it felt like they painted over uh, wallpaper uh, so clearly you know some there was something behind that wall <laughs> you saw the way I was uh, pressing on the wall so that is what the property was looking like at the time that I bought it so now that you know what the property used to look like I think now you can actually see what I have done with the property So this is the living room area and uh, I've got a sofa on the side um, and then I've got the accent chair, I've got some plants and I have TV on this side and this chandelier looking lamp holder as well. Uh, there's a coffee table right in the middle now this fireplace is interesting because it was dead before like dead 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 and i had to bring it back to life uh chew out all the charcoal uh, so it's not going to be used so now i have like this stones right here and uh on the opposite side is the dining area which we're gonna go uh very soon uh, so this sofa um, is from Amazon and it's a sofa bed as well. So, oh, I totally forgot to 
tell you that this property is going to be used for Airbnb. Uh, I got this um, artwork from a charity shop. Funnily, I got this accent chair uh, from a charity shop as well. And I've got the plants here from uh, Amazon. Yeah. And uh, I also have this plant from Amazon as well. So moving on to the dining area. Uh, so we had a photo shoot of the property today. That's why the table is set up. Uh, yeah. So this is the dining area. It's so pretty. Um, I've also got um like a corner shelf here it's gonna have more decorations but for now this is what i have so when you come in from the door you come straight into the living area so how did i do you guys should start rating me right <laughs> uh so going from the dining area straight into the kitchen you guys have been seeing the kitchen yeah like um <laughs> it's been a journey especially with this kitchen uh so i have this floating shelf here um i have first aid box uh a mini one here I've got a plate rack over there i've got kettle and a toaster and some kitchen mittens there the extractor is right up here and then i have cabinets that has uh plates and cups in there uh the cutleries are uh, here uh this is almost empty because i have a lot of them on the table and it's also stocked with uh pots uh, the fridge is on this side of the kitchen and then I have the vacuum there and the broom. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be the permanent place but that's where it is for now. So that is the kitchen. It is looking really, really nice. Like I am so impressed now uh there's a star here that i can show you you know that i never knew that there was some kind of bolt that you could uh buy that had like a code for you to lock it so in here i have like <laughs> things i still need to throw away but mostly um like linens um to so bed sheets duvet covers just different things that i'll need to just uh keep uh so that whenever the cleaner comes they can access here and get stuff so now let me take you upstairs so um I'm going to do the smallest bedroom first which is the one that is just straight down once you come up the stairs and it's the yellow room <laughs> so these are my things by the way so yeah so i've got this um wardrobe cloth hanging thing uh situation going on here i've got a mirror on the wall now this is the only room that doesn't have like a full size mirror obviously because of the size so this is a boiler cupboard and i have added um you know a lock to it um just so that you know it's not open but yeah this is what the inside looks like and then the bed is on this side. I've got um, artwork here. And uh, I feel like <laughs> this is a lot of pillows for uh, a small bedroom. But yeah, uh, this is the situation here. And I've got an extension. I try to put extension in all the rooms. 
uh, because some of the sockets are not so accessible and I also wanted something that would have like USB as well so yeah uh, so the next place because it's right next to this small bedroom is the bathroom now excuse the green towel that is for me <laughs> so you guys remember the floor of this bathroom <laughs> and all the things is gone through uh, so this is what the bathroom is looking like now it's sort of like a black and white themed bathroom ish it's got a really large uh, mirror by the sink right here so if you've been following my videos you know that i built this uh to cover the pipes so this one and i also and i also built this ones as well so i've got my miniature um body wash and uh shampoo and body lotion here with a bath soap shower cap and vanity kit so that is here now you can forget about this one this one is mine <laughs> and i've got this black and white bath mat on the floor so this is what the bathroom is looking like now let's head to um the second bedroom so this is bedroom number two and this is like a turquoise room and uh the bed is laid and everything is set up obviously like i said we had a photo shoot today i've got this paintings on the wall and i got them from a charity shop as well uh so this room has a bedside uh drawer and a lamp holder and it's also got a full um, length uh, mirror as well uh, and again i have this uh, clothes hanger here and uh, i have extra bed sheets uh, a bean and a hair dryer so that is bedroom number two So now let me take you to the master bedroom uh, or the biggest bedroom anyways. <laughs> so I've got this flapper here. Uh, so this room has a full length mirror as well. So once you come in, like I love how big the window is, like the way the light hits this room is just awesome. So this room is like uh green room uh so to speak so because it has the green throw pillows and the green blankets uh on it and uh it's got some artworks as well i got this particular one from a charity shop but i got this one from um one store like that in liverpool here so this one as well has uh, a bedside drawer and a lampshade and it's also got the close hanger wardrobe type situation here uh there is a um an ironing board and an iron here as well and uh so this room has a view of the street and that is the tour of the inside of the property i am going to see if i can take you outside it's a bit chilly and um I'll show you what the outside looks like so you guys remember what the outside of this property used to look like so i changed the color from red to gray uh i also tiled the floor outside you saw it in the last video this is what the back is looking like now when i have money i'm going to set up the back you know make it look good so that concludes the tour of the inside of the property it's been a journey it's been literally a month and a half of blood sweat and tears and i am so excited that i am done 
well i still have a few things to do but you know that i'm finally done and i can you know go back home list the property uh i can't wait to share a lot more behind the scenes of you know things that i've learned how much it cost me to set this up um the skills you guys have been watching my videos so you know a lot of the diy stuff that i've i've had to learn and maybe things that i might do differently um with my next investment property but yeah thank you so much for watching so if you're looking to invest in property here in the uk and you need help feel free to hit me up or if you just want me to help you set up your space i'm also open to that as well my email is in my profile anyways thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye